Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar where we will be learning how to help someone who is experiencing respiratory arrest. Individuals with ineffective breathing patterns are considered to be in respiratory arrest and require immediate attention. There are many causes of respiratory arrest including but not limited to cardiac arrest and cardiogenic shock. Resuscitate individuals in apparent respiratory arrest using either the BLS or ACLS survey. Respiratory arrest is an emergent condition in which the individual is either not breathing or not breathing ineffectively. This is the BLS survey. First, you need to check responsiveness. Shake and shout, are you okay? Check for breathing for no more than 10 seconds. If not breathing or insufficiently breathing, continue survey. Next, call EMS and get an AED. Call for emergency medical services. Get an automated external defibrillator. If you are the only provider, activate EMS and get an AED. Then check responsiveness, assessing for pulse for 5 to 10 seconds. Then, if there is a pulse, you want to start rescue breathing, where you deliver one breath every 5 to 6 seconds or to 10 to 12 breaths per minute, and then continue checking pulse every 2 minutes. If there is no pulse, you'd go ahead and begin starting CPR, 30 compressions per 2 breaths with a depth of at least 2 inches, and then at least 100 compressions per minute, so 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Oh, I have my switch. Um... Then next, you'd want to defibrillate. If there's no pulse, check for shockable rhythm with an AED. If shockable rhythm, stand clear when delivering shocks. It provides CPR between shocks, starting with chest compressions. In the ACLS survey, first you want to do airway. So maintain airway in an unconscious patient, considering advanced airway, and monitor advanced airway if placed with quantitative waveform caponography. Next is breathing. Give 100% oxygen. Access effective ventilation with quantitative waveform caponography and do not overventilate. Next is circulation. Evaluate rhythm and pulse. Defibrillate or cardioversion if needed. Obtain IV IO access. Give rhythm specific medications and give IV IO fluids if needed. Then Identify and treat reversible causes. Cardiac rhythm and patient history are the keys to differential diagnosis and assess when to shock versus medicate. The airway listed in the left column are considered advanced airways, while those in the right column are basic airways. Although OPAs and MPAs are considered to be basic airways, they require proper placement by an experienced provider. Advanced airway insertion requires specialized training beyond the scope of ACLS certification. While the placement of advanced airways requires special training, all ACLS providers should know the proper use of advanced airways once they are placed. Regardless of airway type, proper airway manage is an important part of ACLS. CPR is performed with the individual lying on their back. Gravity will cause the jaw, the tongue, and the tissues of the throat to fall back and obstruct the airway. The airway rarely remains open in an unconscious individual without external support. The first step in any airway intervention is to go open the airway. This is accomplished by lifting the chin upward while tilting the forehead back. The goal is to create a straighter path from the nose to the trachea. In individuals with suspected neck injury, the cervical spine should be protected and a jaw thrust alone is used to open the airway. While the standard practice in a suspected neck injury is to place a cervical collar, this should not be done in BLS or ACLS. Cervical collars can compress the airway and interfere with resuscitation efforts. The provider must ensure an open airway regardless of the basic airway used. The provider is obligated to stabilize the head or ask for assistance while maintaining control of the airway. Don't forget we offer online ACLS certification on our site. You can find a link in the description. We encourage you to become certified as soon as possible, whether that be on your own time, with an online course, or in an in-classroom setting. Thank you so much for tuning into today's webinar. We will catch you next time.